today on Karamo. I'm Puerto Rican, and I usually never date Spanish women. Lewis went against his instincts. He just said, I don't date Latin women. And got into a relationship with Kiana. So he's trying to put on all Latinas are crazy and liars and cheaters. But now Lewis thinks she's secretly cheating with her ex. Smelling your clothes. And not even clothes, my underwear. <laughs> Is Lewis's girlfriend being falsely accused? Stop giving me a reason to I'm not you. giving you a reason! Or will something shocking We unlock the phone be found hidden inside Kiana's phone? You wanna get mad and walk out? No! Plus... I've never been with a white man my whole life, never. His mother has serious doubts. She come up with the story that he's albino. And her sister doesn't believe it at all. This is my sister. I know her. Brandy was very promiscuous. Is this man the father of Brandy's baby or not? So my next guest, Lewis, is convinced his girlfriend, Kiana, has been having a secret affair with an ex. He claims he's seen cars screeching away from his house when he gets home. And now he wants my help with unlocking her phone. Listen to what Lewis has to say about the situation. Let me set the record straight. I'm Puerto Rican, and I usually never date Spanish women. Growing up, I seen them lying. I seen them cheating. Funny enough, my girlfriend, Kiana, is Spanish and she's been cheating on me with an ex. One of my ex-girlfriends, she would put her hands on me because I would catch her cheating. And you know, that was her defense. So trust me, I do know the signs of a cheater. And I'm starting to see the signs in Kiana. I've seen clothes that look like they have, you know, sex stains on them. I found like letters on the, on the mirror. But every time I come home, there's a car that leaves. There's always the same car that's right around the corner. There's too many signs, it's over and over and over, and it's the same ones. I've even tracked her. When, I, when I'm at work, she disappears for hours. GPS doesn't lie. I asked her, why does it keep going to the same address? But she says she doesn't go there. It breaks my heart because, you know, if it wasn't for this, we would be perfect. I don't want to accuse her, but I don't want to look stupid. That's why I am unlocking the phone. I can't get the truth from her. Well, listen, everyone, before we meet Luis, let's talk to his girlfriend, Kiana. So everyone welcome Kiana to the stage. Um, Kiana, first of all, you look beautiful. Thank you. We got to talk about what he just said on that tape. You are a Latin woman, and he just said, I don't date Latin women, sort of as if he's putting you down. How does that make you feel when you hear that on the oh, tape? Horrible, really horrible. Yeah. Because it's all lies. All of it lies. All of it. What's your point of view? <laughs> My point of view, he's just paranoid. He's delusional. Mm. The fact that he's using his past in our relationship because of one instance of one ex trying to get back into my life, that has nothing to do with it. The fact that he says he sees things, yeah, he's delusional, he's crazy. Uh, so why are you with him if you feel like he's being delusional and crazy? Because when I first met him, it was literally like all sparks. Like it was, we had such a connection and we were together 24 seven. How long y'all been together? Like almost six months to a year now. So six months to a year, okay. What does he do to try to catch you cheating? <laughs> he tries to set stuff up. Mm. He will literally come home and he'll go straight to the bathroom looking at the wet towels. He'll go through my clothes. He'll pick up my clothes and start smelling them. He'll go through the, through the bed and start going through the bed, start looking through stains, through the, through the blankets, the, the, the pillows, everything. Okay, he's checking wet towels because he's trying to see if you showered before yep. you got home. He's checking, smelling your clothes. And not even clothes, my underwear. <laughs> yeah. What, what does he think he's gonna find in your underwear? I don't know, smell something, look at the, the, the I, I don't know what he's trying to find. Okay, how do you feel when he smells your clothes? <laughs> I feel disgusted myself. Yeah, how do you feel when he accuses you? Oh, <laughs> I, I, I can't even really put it into words. Yeah. It, it makes me feel like I'm literally crazy. Yeah, so I gotta ask you directly because I hear his side of this, but I gotta ask you directly, are you cheating? No, I'm not. Okay. I can't imagine what it's like for a young woman to come home and have somebody And I don't even come home because I stay home 24-7. He's the one that leaves to go to his buddies to, at the outside of the house or goes to work and comes home so and you're thinks home I'm cheating. All the time. I'm home 24-7. Got it. And if I'm not home, I'm with my mom, whom he thinks I'm cheating with. <laughs> so it's anything you do. Anything he, I do. He assumes. Anything. Has this been since day one? This since day one, since it all started. Got it. So tell me about the stop sign when he tracks you. Where we're at our job, there's a stoplight. Our street that he says I'm at, it's right there at the light. So if I'm stopped at traffic at the light, 
I'm stopped there for more than a couple seconds to a minute or two, it's going to read that I'm at that street. It's the same thing with the hotel. In order for me to get to the highway where it's right there off that street, there's a hotel right there. I have to stop at that stop sign. Again. And so because you're at a stop sign and because there's a hotel in the vicinity, he's assuming. Yep, that I'm at that hotel. But the location is not pinging you there for like hours. Nope. It's pinging you there for like yep. a second or two? Yep. All right, there's a lot to unpack here. I've been taking notes. There's, yeah. there's so much going on here. Oh, yeah. I think it's time to meet Lewis and hear his side of the story as well. So everyone, please welcome Lewis to the show. seem like the crazy one, bro. Oh, you are the crazy one. You're making one. me seem you like the, the crazy, crazy one. one. You are the crazy one. All right, I, answer me this, right? Like you said, the GPS. So, so what? Like, so is funny. the phone walking? Does or, the phone or, have it's legs? Funny because the, the GPS will say I'm at the hotel for an hour when I'm actually at work still delivering. So how does that work? Don't forget I'm the manager of the job. I don't care that so you're So I do know what time you get out. Okay, sure. Oh, that's not your layer. So work? you all work together as well? Yeah. Yes, that's how we met. Got it, you work together and yeah, you're her yeah. boss? Yes. Got it, okay. So why do you think she's cheating? I found stains on my clothes. You know, she says it's from us, but why would I, you know, why would I... Porque tú eres loco. Purposely, yeah. Por esa, exactamente por eso, porque tú eres loco. Pero no soy tan loco. Oh, sí. I don't think sí. I'm that crazy. Oh, claro que no. sí. Riddle me this, why would I get a sweater? Stain it up and then hang it up for me to come home after. And in another situation, the why the hell would I do that? I don't know. If I brought another you woman wouldn't. to the house, no. why would I do that to your no. I, See, the thing is, I'm not if saying. If I was cheating, why would I still have you in my house? I didn't say that you was the one that put it because you wouldn't it be that stupid. Matter, but though. somebody that wants to get rid of me would. Another person. But I'm not bringing you to the house and I'm telling you that. So who is it? So if you feel like somebody is there, then why are you with her? You said earlier that I was putting her down because I don't. I'm not attracted to Spanish you women. Used your past Those me. were your words, not yeah, mine. Yeah, no, no, they, it's absolutely true. Yeah. It, it wasn't me trying to put her down. It, it was actually like a surprise to me, because me being Spanish myself, like oh, I couldn't. Oh, a surprise, a surprise? The only reason you, I basically think you say that is because you want to talk in Spanish. And these black girls you dated don't know oh, no, Spanish, no, no. right? Yeah. Right? But right. me, as a Latina, yo lo sé, yo lo, yo lo hablo, ¿verdad? Yo lo entiendo. No, no. So yo te hablo para atrás, ¿verdad? No, no. Uh -huh. No, no, it has nothing uh -huh. to do with that. Uh -huh. She asked you, you understand Spanish? Because yes. I understand sure, Spanish. I understand everything. Okay, so you understand everything yeah, she just yeah, said. I understood everything. So was the woman that broke your heart Latina? No. Nope. So where did you get this sort of idea to sort of generalize all? Because Maybe. his mama's Latina and he hates her, so he's trying to put on all Latinas are crazy. And liars and cheaters. No, no, no. See, I never said that all Latinas were liars and cheaters. Sure. It, it just wasn't my type. Every man has his type. But something attracted me to you, and that's why I stood around. So, so if something that you never felt before, why are you getting into this habit of accusing her? It's a story that she that she brought on. It was a weird. I just, brought it on? Yes, you brought it. How the hell did I bring this on? No, you actually, started all of this, not me. Is Lewis's girlfriend being falsely accused? Stop giving me a reason to I'm not giving you. you a reason. Or will something shocking, we unlock the phone, be found hidden inside Kiana's phone? Hey, you wanna get mad and walk out? No. Stay tuned. What does he do to try to catch you <laughs> He will literally come home and he'll go straight to the bathroom looking at the wet towels and start going through the bed, start looking through stains, everything. What does he think he's gonna find in your underwear? I don't know. I don't think I'm that crazy. Yes, you brought- How the hell did I bring this on? No, you actually, started all of this, actually, not me. You're the one who brought him up. I didn't the, bring him up. Brought, he's the one that brought into our life and came up into this and you didn't let me do what I wanted to, and behind my back, you took his number and started texting him. Uh -huh, for sure, he started texting you. For clarification, my producer sure. told me there was a past situation that involved themselves in his, their relationship, and it's now caused more confusion. So we can't go into that in detail, but it's good for you just to have that context of what they're talking about. It's not that you've cheated, there's just someone who has inserted themselves. So what will unlocking her phone prove to you today? Just to nothing. see if, the, what do you mean nothing? There has to be something that There's I'm missing because- You went through it a thousand times. What did they, can they find that you haven't seen already? And every single time that I go through it, I find something. Correct? I don't know how. What is it that you think we'll find? And what are you finding each time? So each time that I, f I find a okay. GPS tracker, sure. uh, a GPS message, uh, a deleted, there's always something. Okay. okay. See, sure. the thing is, is she, as 
the more and more that I went on the phone, the more and more good she got with the deleting and the deleting. Yeah, so because you, you keep deleting. For something, you actually find it. She said you check her clothes and underwear. You check her underwear? <laughs> I don't want to have to do that. You know what I, mean? I know, it. I know it's <laughs> exactly. weird. I yeah. know it's just weird. You literally come home straight to go into the bathroom, start going through the dirty clothes, go into the bedroom. Oh, let me pick up these clothes. Oh, let me see. Oh, this perfume wasn't there before. Oh, that wasn't there before. Oh, what were you doing? Because you came home early. Cause that's not, I did, that was not the time I was expecting you cause I know your time as well. You wanna say that you're a manager, oh, I know. whatever. I know you know the time. Oh, trust me, I know you know the oh, time. So, so she's saying in a normal relationship, you come in and you immediately go to clothes and underwear? See, yep. it just, this is recently. This just recently. It was recently. not recently, this, this is the beginning. This it is, is not just recently. Just it has been happening started. for a long time now. It recently started it happening. It did not recently once start I started happening. finding the colognes. Sure. The writing on the wall. When I say writing on the wall, I mean literally mm -hmm. writing on the wall. Yeah. So it's Apparently, like. Apparently there's a hair you, that was on top of the ceiling in the bathroom. That all because I'm small, I can't reach up there, so it must have been another dude or something. Well, when it's another guy's hair and it's up it to It was another guy's this, hair. Okay, yeah. oh, sure, it, it was a long strand of brown hair and it was curly like mine. So because you saw a hair on the bathroom wall, you assumed it was another yeah, guy's hair. Yeah, in the hair. ceiling. Oh, it and he was like, oh, well, you can't reach up there, so, you it's know, it couldn't have been what, you. What was it? What was this writing? So I have I found letters, letter, letter, initials on the yeah. wall, in the, in the room wall, okay. literally spelling on the walls. It's, it's basically what's going on here. So you like, think that her other, if, if there is some other guy, you yep. think that he is sending you secret messages? Purposely. <laughs> Purposely. No, absolutely. Okay. Okay. No, I, but I'm the crazy one. I'm cheating. Well, I think it's time to unlock the phones right now. Right? <laughs> I have a question for you, Luis. Why are you so tense that you haven't been able to sit down? I'm not tense at all. It hurts my feelings because at the end of the day, I don't want to be the boyfriend that keeps accusing me. And I don't want to be the girlfriend that keeps getting accused every second of the day, 24-7. Well, stop giving me a reason to accuse you. Stop giving me a reason to accuse you. I'm not giving you a reason, though. I haven't done nothing. I lost my phone. I almost lost my car because of you. I lost my job. I went through two months with no electricity in my house and everything. I lost the bond that I have with my mother because I'm with you 24-7. All right. So listen, well, it sounds like it's time for us to unlock this phone and get to answers. I mean, Luis, you want to know if Kiana was using two apps to communicate with her exes. You want to know her browser history because you suspect she is selling nudes. And you oh, also want to know. I'm selling them. And you wow. also want to know if Kiana okay. was talking to an okay. ex. Those are things you want to know, mm -hmm. correct? All right, well, listen, we unlocked the phone and we have the answers to your questions. Before I unlock this phone, is there anything you have to say? Huh? No, nope. no. Nope. Unlock it. All right, we unlocked your phone, Kiana. And Lewis wants to know if there were two texting apps. My unlock the phone investigator searched through your apps, and Kiana, you are telling the truth. There are none on your phone. <laughs> Luis wants to know your browser history. My unlock the phone investigators searched your phone and only found shopping apps. That's it. No other app. Luis, you also want to know if Kiana was talking to an ex. My Unlock the Phone investigator searched Kiana's text, and Kiana's not telling the truth. He found 84 deleted messages between the two of them from three months ago. But he already knows See, about I those messages no, because those messages no, are what started all of no, this. With him coming no, into our relationship no, saying, oh, it's been two no. months. And, yeah, no, 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 Is this troubled relationship over for good? Yeah, you want to get mad and walk out? No. Don't miss what happens next. Plus, I've never been with a white man my whole life, never. Her sister doesn't believe it at all. This is my sister. I know her. Brandy was very promiscuous. Is Sam the real father of this child? So what will unlocking her phone prove to you today? 
there has to be something that I'm missing because... You went through it a thousand times. What did they, can they find that you haven't seen already? I don't want to be the boyfriend that keeps accusing me. And I don't want to be the girlfriend that keeps getting accused every second of the day, 24-7. My Unlock, the phone investigator, found 84 deleted messages from three months ago. He already knows about those messages no, because don't. those messages no, are what started all of this. No, I don't. I'm the crazy one, right? Everybody was laughing at me. I'm the crazy one, right? So I just heard you say in Spanish, you already knew about those. He already, that's, those are the messages that started everything. We were first coming out, we were first in our relationship. We were, I think we were like three months in into that official. That's what we found. Those are the messages he's talking about that he swear to God that he doesn't know about. Got it. And you want to get mad and walk out? No. What the hell? Let no. Me, let me be clear in those messages just to make sure. The 84 messages that were deleted between you two, you were not engaging in anything. I that wasn't. Was, I was say, trying to get the, information it, it, off the dude to who he was. was. One way. I want to be very clear. Thank you. I want to be very clear. Um, but there's a bigger issue here. Yes. And you know it. Oh, yes. He can't let his past get to him because he's been cheated nonstop by his exes. And that is going to come into this no matter what. Yep. I know it started fresh and it was mm -hmm. fun in the beginning, but my advice to you is that you got to get out of this now. Oh, I'm trying. You I'm trying because I cannot keep doing this. I really can't. I really can't. But you got to make... taking a toll on me. It's making me feel like I'm less of a woman or less, like, I'm crazy. Like, I can tell that. And his social media, two days ago before coming here, he wrote that he's single. Got it. You need to officially end this. Yes. And you oh, yes. then, and I've correct? tried a thousand times, and I've tried. You hear this audience? You need to officially end this. And there's no trying. There's oh, only there's doing it. There's doing. Because I love him. Find. I really, really, really do love yeah. him. I see us being together, having a few. We talked about kids but, but being you know, married but and you know, everything. But you know, if you brought a kid in this situation, it would only get worse and worse. Oh yeah. As oh, much yeah. as we're hearing about his background and the fact that he's been cheated on, there's something that's going on in your background that's making you feel like this behavior is okay for him to come in the house and do this. Mm -hmm. And so we, you need to, you need yeah, to go yeah. dive into that for yourself because <laughs> yeah. there's some past relationship that has informed your self-esteem to making you believe and that this is what it. you do. I'm I believe you are. I believe you are. I believe you are, sincerely. Because I see the passion of you trying to prove yourself. But what I need you to know as a woman, you don't need to prove yourself. Oh, I'm done defending myself. Do you want me to bring him out here so you can break up? Can we bring it I back can. Out? All right, I ask you to come back out because I want to. I want to acknowledge. I understand that your past is affecting deeply the way that you're engaging in relationships, and the way you're engaging in relationships are unhealthy. This is not a relationship that either of you deserve. There's a lot of healing you need to do when it comes to trusting women and figuring out how to talk to women. Okay? She has accepted my advice, so I want you to know that this is advice is us having a communication about where she's at and where she deserves to be. What would you like to say to him? I can't keep doing this. I really can't. The trust issues, cheating, just accusing 24-7. Even deep down, you know this can't go on. Yo no puedo seguir con esto. Tú no puedes tampoco. So tú y yo terminamos. Mm. Did the way. Today, right now, we're she over. She said it's over. Can you accept that? That's a, that's fine. Yeah, you said you were single two days ago before coming on the show, so yeah. make it. You've got to stick to this because neither of y'all can work on this. I truly wish both of you the best of luck. Really, I do. Good luck. All right. Thank you. All right, stay with us, friends. We'll be right back with more. Brandy says her baby was born with albinism. I've never been with a white man my whole life, never. His mother has serious doubts. She come up with the story that he's albino. And her sister doesn't believe it at all. This is my sister, I know her. Brandy was very promiscuous. Is Sam the real father of this child? You are the father. Get off my stage. Imagine giving birth, and then seconds later, your own sister tells your child's father that the baby is not his. Brandy is here seeking justice for her son, Liam, and wants to prove to her meddling sister, Candace, and everyone else that Sam is her child's father. So everyone, please welcome Brandy to the show. How are you doing? Good. Can I have a hug? Yes. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. You look so pretty. Thank you, you I like too. this little sheer situation. 
<laughs> yeah, this is cute. Okay, so reading that, all of this started at the hospital on what should have been one of the most happiest days. Yes, it sure did. I just gave birth to my baby, and as y'all can tell, my baby is very, very, very white. He mm. is albino. And I look over, and my sister immediately, from the jump, immediately started stating that I need to find who my child's father was. Mm. So how does your sister Candace make these kind of statements and share her thoughts? Um, well, I really don't let her around much because um, it can get real. Mm -hmm. It's not fair to my child, nor me, mm -hmm. and I don't have time for it. And when you get into these arguments or altercations with your sister Candace, did they get physical? Oh, yes, they have. They had, Just the other day, it, it got physical. When you and say just I'm, the other day, what do you mean the other day? On the way up here. Like to the show? Yes, yes, wow. sir. Wow, okay. And so you said she always has something to say. Tell me what you mean by that. I mean, there's been several incidents, but I've stuck by her through it all. Like, I am her only sister. She's my only sister. His family sticks by it through him, through everything. Why can't she stick through me with through everything? So what, what happened on the way up here that made y'all fight? Um, oh, because she was like, you know, what is this gonna change? This, you, you know, you're only gonna do this to, you know, for what reason? He's not your child's father, Brandy. It's gonna come out and you're gonna look stupid. And the accusation just kept frustrating you, frustrating you. And, and it you. did, and Got I it. just had enough. Got it. And so did you flow the first punch or does she? Oh, I always throw the first punch, always. <laughs> <laughs> Are you the baby sister or the older sister? I'm the oldest. So you're the oldest sister. I'm big pressure. Okay, got it. You big pressure? And I am. You <laughs> better come down with a nickname. <laughs> That's a cute nickname. I ain't gonna lie to you. Call me big pressure, okay? <laughs> Y'all better call me big pressure. Uh, and I am. And I am? Okay. <laughs> got the confidence with it, okay. Not Always. Okay. Because okay, that's that. my child. My child doesn't Of course, deserve. you're going to be protect. You're going to oh, be protective. Yeah. I understand that. So is your son's father in his life? Oh, yes. I couldn't pay for a better child's father. I really couldn't. Like, oh, nice. But I am done. I'm tired. I, this is it. I need the results. Um, so how has your son Liam been left out of family tradition? Um, there's been incidents with uh, family trees that, you know, they'd be branched off, and we get to, uh, you know, my child's father, and there's no branches which hurts because that is his, his son, so. Mm, got it. And what happened when you gave birth? I gave birth to a white baby. Mm -hmm. And the, even the doctor was like. A little confused. I mean, yeah, but, and I'm looking like, everybody's looking at me like, what, what happened? Yeah, yeah. I, because the hair is lighter and. His eyes like, was red. I, yeah. Okay, and so you've gotten a genetic testing for Liam, right? He has occupatular albinism, uh -huh. which is, um, it's, it's just a different strand of, uh, you know, albinism. And it comes it. from African-Americans. Yes. So how's your relationship with your sister now? I know y'all just fought the other day since uh, on your way up here. Are y'all talking? Um, yeah, we do, we do. We, do. we talk to a certain extent. Like I said, she always got something to say. Well, listen, you know, I, I like to hear every two sides of every story about this because I always want to hear, I know you big pressure and I know you like to throw the first punch, but on, oh, but this, I'm show, not going to on this show we don't. That's making sure, okay. you know. Um, but I want to meet your sister and hear her side of the story. Um, so everyone, please welcome Candace to the show. You're a liar. You're a liar, Brady. That is not his daddy. You're a liar. Yes, no, it's yes, not. Yes. We're about to see. We're about to see. We sit are. Down, sit down. We're about to see. You know that it's not his daddy. Like she was with us. Yeah. I've never been with a white man my whole life. Never. His mother has serious doubts. She come up with the story that he's albino. And her sister doesn't believe it at all. This is my sister. I know her. Brady was very promiscuous. Is Sam the real father of this child? I gave birth to a white baby. He has occupatular albinism. Uh -huh. And my sister immediately started stating that I need to find who my child's father was. And when you get into these arguments or altercations, do they get physical? Oh, yes, they have. You're yes, a liar. No, it's yes, not. Yes, yes. You um, know that it's not his daddy, Brandy. Candace, it is. Like she was with us. Yeah. <laughs> can, can, well, thank you for being here. You look, you look lovely. Thank you. I got a Stop question line. for you. Um, she does look lovely. <laughs> you know your sister look nice. So Candace, I got it, but this is my question though. Because, a big pressure, right? She <laughs> in it already. Um, why do you feel like it's your business that's to my involve nephew. yourself? That's my nephew, and at the end of the day, I want what's best for him. Okay. That's my sister, but that's my nephew. Okay. 
and he is what's best for him. He, he, he is a great daddy. I give that to man. Yeah. Sam, so I let call him be a daddy. Let us be a family. Let us be if together. If that's his daddy. If My that's his daddy, business. I will. If that's his daddy, I will. Would you have your doubts right away? Right away. Why? First of all, this is my sister. I know her. I grew up with her. Brandy was very promiscuous. Mm. She, you, but growing up, she was. She was never in a long-term relationship. Never. Because I ain't got time for the mm -hmm. <laughs> So, but you feel like because of her past history in your eyes is what's dictating this opinion? Yes. Okay. Yes. So you're saying like people can't change and people can't grow up. Okay. So I you... finally found somebody that I really loved and I truly cared about. Okay. I was told I could not have kids, and when I got pregnant, you know, when you not know how how happy you know it was that I actually got to see that heartbeat and see my baby, you know. And then here, lo and behold, my sister's in the corner. She's supposed to be my number one cheerleader. She's a hater. Mm -hmm. She is a hater. You hear me? We're about to find do, out today. Do, do you feel? Do you feel like she is trapping someone who is? And, and that's a harsh word, but do you feel like she's trapping someone who is not yeah, the father? Yeah, I do. I do. Why do you feel that way? I don't believe that Sam is Liam's daddy. I don't. Okay. We have yeah, a mutual friend left. that Liam looks just like. Oh. Yeah. That's you so dumb. I've never been with a white man my whole life. Never. Okay. Never. Never. So um, there's two things here. Did you know that about your sister that she's never dated a white man? Um. Yeah. That she's never dated a white man, but I not had sex. one either. Okay. So you. So you know. Okay. So from your opinion. But secondly, she said that when she went to the doctor's appointments that you never went to hear the sort of the facts about like his albinism. Is that no, true? No, she told me like she showed me paperwork and a genetic test. And, and I, we have friends that are white. Both parents are white and they have albinism. Okay. So it, not the type of albinism that my baby has. So are you and Sam friendly? Yes. Okay. Too friendly. Too friendly. Okay, what do you mean by that? Too friendly. What do you mean? There's by been that? several times since we broke up that I've caught him over there or I've caught her over there. We're I'm friends. Like he is a good daddy to my nephew and I respect that. Oh, but you don't think that's his child. I have a child I have a, a baby daddy that I live with, you know what yes, I'm saying? Of course, so yes. it's nothing on that level, but he is a good daddy. He's a fr we've been friends. Like even when him and Brady were together, we were really close. Yeah. But if you don't think Sam is her child's father, then why would you be engaging with him? Because what is safe for instance, if these results that ain't, his, that ain't his fault, that's her fault. I know, but if these results were to show that he wasn't a father, he would have no ties with you all. No, yes he but, would. Yeah, me and he would still be close. But why? That's what that's why I'm trying to figure that out. Why? Because we were friends. Like him being her baby daddy don't have nothing to do with me and him, mine and his friendship. I know who my kids' daddies are. Yeah. And I do too. And I do too. There's okay. been several times I've had to try to get this DNA test done. Oh, so you wanted to get it done? And yes. Sam is yes. so scared of the truth. Who, who's Even who's who's part of that? Man. Then part. I gotta okay. hear this man along with his mama. Yeah, I got it. All right, well, listen, I wanna talk to Sam. So, everyone, please welcome Sam out to the stage. <laughs> Nice uh, nice I, I had to give you a hug because um, honestly, we heard such great things about you beforehand. The fact yes, of yes, yes, you yes, being yes, a good yes, father, yes. and I appreciate that. Yes. Um, and so, so I will give you that. I appreciate that. But do you think it's a little shady? You kind of too close with her? It's not like we like like buddy buddy close, but like. That's my brother. Like that's my brother. That's like, his daddy. Like, but I understand how it's his brother. See, this is why I get his conflicted. It's his brother and it's his daddy, but then he's like this. this. It's like he this. takes like... care of him. Like at the end of the day, even even last night, the man said like he's still gonna be his daddy regardless of if the test comes out that he's not. Man's still gonna be there for him. Okay. Like, okay. and I respect it's that. Like, like, this. like mm -hmm. when like times me and her get into an argument or something like that, I have an outlet. I can talk to somebody that's close to her, but also know a little bit what's going on in the inside to kind of get. Got it. Can you recognize and acknowledge that it gets messy when it's sisters? Yeah. Like, like I said, it's kind of like a, you know, it's somebody that's connected on both sides. Okay. I don't you go to her in every messy. situation. There's no, there is no. I don't go to her in every situation. That's, this is messy. Oh, I see. This is, this is a messy situation. A messy. I don't, I don't. That's my only blood <laughs> sister. This is my child's father. Because I'm not so, going to support a liar, though. Candace, but I got you saying you're not going to support a liar, but I got a question for you. I can't wait for, for these results. So why do you care so much about this if Sam has already shown that he's going to be there regardless? She's the one on the DNA test. Yeah. We, don't be, we don't speak on the DNA test. My child deserves his but DNA do you test. Do you, do you understand? And can, do you understand and can acknowledge that the reason that he would have fear, and I'm not saying that it's your fault that he's making a choice. Yeah. I'm not saying that at all. But can you understand that the doubt that was put in his head started from you in that hospital room? Yeah. 
Yeah, and then that's why fear... your son came. Uh, okay. Well, it wasn't about the son because when you the son came out, you loved him, right? Yeah. So he loved Goodell, him. Yes, he did love him, but he also I, you can also tell. Oh, I, yeah. Do you enjoy being a father? Yes. The best yeah. thing that ever happened to me. He has my last name. That's my son. This, mm -hmm. all this paternity test stuff really does not matter to me. Like I said, I've been there since day one as a man, as a father, as his hero. What's getting you an emotional? It's like, you talking about my son. <laughs> yeah. Like, like I said, it's the best, like, it's the best feeling that I've ever had in this world. Yeah. Do you have a good relationship with your dad? Me and my dad, we are close. Me and my mother's close, but. And his mother don't think that Liam she, is either. Yeah. yeah. You want this more so for your mother than yourself, this DNA result. Not, yes. I wouldn't say directly for my mother, but just to bring a closure, the tension that's developed behind this, yeah. behind the situation of my Hold son. On, we just got a ping. It's a message that Sam's mom left us. Um, so let's hear this. Sam's mother has doubts about Brandy's baby. She come up with the story that he's albino. And her sister doesn't believe it at all. She always uh, got something to say. <laughs> <laughs> is Brandy's sister right or is she wrong? Well, the DNA truth is in this envelope. The incredible answer is about to be unlocked. You are the fire. Get off my stage. He's a great daddy. I give that to man. Yeah. Sam. So let him be a daddy. Let us be a family. I know who my kids' daddies are. Yeah. And I do too. Do you enjoy being a father? Yes. The best yeah. thing that ever happened to me. You want this more so for your mother than yourself, this DNA result. The tension that's developed yeah. behind the situation of my son. We just got a ping. It's a message that Sam's mom left us. Um, so let's hear this. When I found out Brandy was pregnant, all I wanted was for a paternity test to be done so I would know if this is my blood grandchild. After Liam was born, she come up with the story that he's albino. I have never seen his birth certificate or anything legal. And she told me a long time ago when we had a, uh, got into a big disagreement that Liam was not my grandson. Did you say that? No. You've never said that? No. I know, for some reason, I believe you, Big Pressure. I believe you. <laughs> I believe you. I don't know. But I just, I just feel like you telling the truth there, like you never said that. No, never. Do you, has she, have you heard uh, Brandy ever say something like that, that she, to your mother, that that child might not be yours? No, not to my mother, no. Okay, got it. So, and what your mother's saying on this message about like, you've never seen the birth certificate, you know, all these things, that's she more your, oh, she has now? But she that's your it. responsibility to show her. But why yeah. does she need to see all that? Agreed. She has a, she why has a does she need to see it. all that? But I have, I have, like, when I first seen the, um, the results of his albinism and the stems, where it stems from, I've expressed all that information to my mother. She accepts it, but she doesn't... Believe it. She doesn't really just take it all in until she sees the results and everything is pretty much set in stone. Got it. Black she's a fact-based woman. Okay. She's a, you know, she's from the, she's an older, she's older woman. Uh -huh. She's, you know, stuck in the firm beliefs of black and white. Got it. Logical. Like, once you see something, solid proof that you can't argue with, there's no longer an issue. Got it. And then you started and dating a woman who's... she ain't gonna be able to and, argue with. And you started dating a woman the same way. She's logical. This is the same way she is. She just wants proof. This is it. This is how it is. Matter of fact. So does your family treat him differently? No, my family is very open to Liam. Okay. Very open and accepting to my son. Great. That's who has Liam right now. It's his family. His family. Okay. She always um, got something to say. Yeah, yeah, she, <laughs> <laughs> Um, so, Sam, I want to know from you, truly, what are you hoping for today? What answer are you hoping will be revealed? Hopefully, in, the results come back to the, the way I've been feeling since day one, since I first held them in my arms. That, that's my son. And that all of this drama and tension between several different parts of the family can just end, and eventually we start working towards togetherness as one. Got it. Okay. <laughs> 
Well, the DNA truth is in this envelope. The answer is you've been waiting five years to find out, that all of you have been waiting five years to find out, that it's caused confusion, it's called pain, it's caused hurt for all of you. Because whether you know or not, this is just continuously, this conversation is hurting and hurting your family. Um, I'm gonna ask you, what do you think this is gonna say? That he's not a daddy. And you're convinced by that. And I'm sick of this I, I'm ready for these results more than anybody in this world. I'm tired of this. I'm tired of it. Big pressure. The envelope is yours to answer. What is that? Is Brandy's sister right or is she wrong? The incredible answer is unlocked next. So, Sam, I want to know from you, truly, what are you hoping for today? The way I've been feeling since day one, since I first held them in my arms, that, that's my son. The answer is you've been waiting five years to find out. The envelope is yours to answer. Yeah. I, see a, I see a smile. Oh, you see tears. What does it say? Sam is yeah. your father. <laughs> Good job! <laughs> Good job! <laughs> Good job, Brandy! <laughs> yes, Brandy! Okay, I'm a, I'm a good reader character. That's one of my traits. And let me tell you something, I felt, I was like, if I am duped right now, because I feel like this woman is telling the truth. <laughs> 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 All right, so Candace, I heard when you, you got up, you said apology, but do you think you owe her more of an explanation of apology? I mean, I am sorry, Brandy. I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry. That's all I can say. Yeah. Got like it, I, like it. I said before, now that the, 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 it's everything is set in stone, like I said, hopefully they can progress and work towards being one for Liam's sake mm. on both parts <laughs> of this spectrum. Yeah. <laughs> you happy now? You're like, I'm done with this. This is coming home with me. Okay. I need this. Yeah. Yep. Um, <laughs> Sam, I'm gonna ask, can y'all switch seats real quick? Yeah. Just real quick. Okay, because we got these answers, and I love that. But I cannot, the person I am, I can never leave you without identifying that there is real trauma that goes way deep for y'all. Mm -hmm. As sisters, I don't like to hear sisters fighting. I don't like to hear that sisters are putting their hands on each other because at this point, y'all are, y'all need each other. And there's something that's been going on from before that y'all have never solved. And you were saying comments like, um, I was more, she was more happy that I broke up. Um, you started making comments about her past and her history. I need to know from you, when you were a child, and she, this is your big sister, what did you feel? Did you feel rejected by her? Did you feel? No, Brandy raised me. Um, my mom wasn't there. So, Brandy raised you. So if Brandy raised you, where do you think this tension is coming from? I don't know. I, I was there for her, for, for all three of her kids, all three of her baby daddies. I was there do for you, her. Do you bring that up for her? Do you bring that in her face? Do you throw things in her face? No. OK, so she doesn't throw things in your face. And I'm just Brandy, asking, I'm just trying to. Be honest. I mean, I say little stuff. Got it, OK. But I mean, not, nothing like this. OK. Now that you are in a good, safe space and y'all are happy, you got some answers, y'all gotta do some reflection on this past relationship and figure out what it is. I see that there's genuine love there. I see that there's something, and y'all could have like a really amazing family unit. You already talking about you with his family. I know like y'all are broken up, but it seems like there's still love there. Like y'all could really be supporting each other and like, y'all not broken up? Yeah. Brady was yeah. trying to get yeah. in his room last night. Oh. I did stay in his room last night. <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't try to paint no picture that's not there. I did not stay in the gym last night, but nothing happened. Listen, just y'all do the work. Can y'all promise me that for me? Promise me y'all have some conversations. Yes, yes. You will? Yes. Okay, sir. I believe in y'all. Do you want her back? Have you stopped hoeing? Is the question. I focus on work and my son. Whatever so that means no, you have to stop hoeing. Alice, <laughs> he ain't ready yet. And that's OK, because he is my baby daddy. He's <laughs> Listen, good luck to you. I'm glad you got your answers. Thank I'm glad. You. I'm happy for you, all right?
All right, everyone, thank you for being with us. Make sure to come back, friends, so we can keep talking and we can keep growing. I love you all. Yeah.